I made some videos on create Discord bot and web dashboard without coding a single line, but some of you asked to make one for Android users, so in this video, I will show you how to create Discord bot without coding in Android. Before starting the video, make sure to like the video and subscribe my channel as it motivate me to make more videos, it's free, and you can change it later, alright let's start the video. Number 1, Creating a Bot To make a bot, open your Google and search Discord Developer Tool, then click on the link, you will also find the link in the description. Now tap on the three lines and go to Applications, tap on New Application and enter your bot name, which you want, and then tap on the Create button. Now tap on the three lines then go to bot sections, tap on add bot, then yes do it. Again tap on the three lines, then go to a with two section, and again tap on the three lines and go to URL generator section. In scopes, select bot, and in permissions, select administrator or any other permissions if you want. Scroll down and copy your bot invite link, open another tab, and invite this bot to your server which you want. I will fast forward the video because everyone know how to invite bot to a server. After creating and inviting the bot, you will need to download an app, open your Play Store and search Bot Designer for Discord and download the first one. After downloading, open the app and you should see something like this. Tap on Yes I Agree and you will see this interface. To create your bot, tap on Create a Bot, enter your bot name in the first field. In the second, you will need to enter your bot token. To get your bot token, go back to Discord Developer Portal, click on the three lines and go to bot section. Scroll down and tap on Reset Token, then tap on Yes Do It. Copy your bot token and paste it in the application. Now scroll down and agree to there and Discord Term of Service, then click on Create Bot. And you can see our first bot is created. You will see all your created bots here. Now tap on the bot to get your first hosting time. Click on Get Free Hosting Time, complete the CAPTCHA, and after that you will get 30 minutes for testing. Now, if you want more hosting time and free version, then you will need to watch a 5 or 15 seconds ad. If you want to get then tap on Watch Ad for 90 minutes, actually it's 140 minutes not 90 minutes. You will need to watch a 5 or 15 seconds ad for every 140 minutes, which is equal to 2 hours and 20 minutes. On every 5 or 15 seconds ad, you will get extra 2 hours and 20 minutes. The more ads you watch the more hosting time you will get. I watched only 3 ads, and I get 7 hours hosting time, and if you don't want to watch ads then you will need to buy premium version of the app, you can check this yourself. Now let's talk about the commands, first, I will show you some simple commands tutorial, for example, a replay command, so when members send a command then the bot will replay with your message. And after that I will show you some advanced commands tutorial, for example, creating embed buttons, and creating embed selection menu, so make sure to watch the video till the end. Number 2, creating a simple reply command. To get started, tap on the commands icon, and you will see something like this, now, to create your command, tap on command creator. First, enter your command name, you can name it anything which you want. This command name will only for you, other cannot see this. In the second, enter your command trigger, so when members send that command then bot will response, otherwise it will not do anything. I'm creating just a simple hello command, here you will see lot of commands response, as we are creating a reply command then we will select, send a reply message. In the reply message, enter your message, so when members send this command then your bot will respond with your message. You can also use dollar mention instead this username, once you are done, tap on create a command, here you will see all the source of the command, you can also make a folder for commands. For example, if you are making fun commands, then you can place all your commands in one folder. Leave this language normal. Here you will see, when members send, hello command, then the bot will reply with this message. You can do changes here if you want, don't worry, I will show you some more steps if you don't understand. Once you are done, and want to create this command, just tap on create command, and you are ready to go. Your first command is created, now let's test the bot if it's working or not. You can see our bot is online, let's check the command which we created, so when members send this command then bot will reply with your message, and it's working fine. If you want this message as an embed, then go back to the application, open folder, then tap on edit icon, scroll down and add dollar description, 
and bracket at the beginning and at the end, then save the command. Now let's check the command again. So you can see the command is working fine. If you want that the bot mention the member also, then just remove no mention line from the code and you are done, now every time bot will mention the user who executed the command. You can see, when I send the command, bot mentioned me. Number 3, creating a simple DM command. To get started, tap on command creator, then enter your command name and enter your command trigger, after that, just scroll down and select send this message in DM to user, and tap on create command. Select any folder if you want. Now scroll down and enter your message in line number 3. After completing your message, just tap on create command and you are done. Now let's check the command if it's working or not, so you can see it's working fine, and I got the message in DM. Number 4, creating auto reactor command. To get started, tap on command creator, enter your command name and command trigger, I will enter just a random word, after that select mention user that executed command and tap on create command. Scroll down and type $red CMD reactions, make sure C and R are in capital letters for reactions, add a bracket and add your emoji which you want as a reactor. You can use any emoji which you want. You can separate emojis by adding a semicolon. After completing again, add a bracket. Now tap on create command and you are done. Let's check the command if it's working or not. You can see it's working fine. Number 5, creating buttons and selection menu command. If you want to create commands and don't know about the source code, then don't worry, you can get direct help, go to help section in the app, here you will see hundreds of commands code, for example, if you don't know the code of buttons, then search for add button command and tap on open wiki, here you will get all the info and tutorial about adding buttons. It will teach you about buttons and will give you all the code which you need to use in order to create buttons. Just like this, if you don't know the code, then simply search the command and tap on open wiki, and you will get all the info and tutorial about the command. So this is the end of the video, make sure to hit that like button, thank you for watching, peace out.